how's it going everybody so this is a new project that's coming in it's a 2002 sportster and 1200 we're going to be doing a full makeover of this bike and here's a little bit of a four before we touch anything and uh we're going to be hardtailing this bike and putting a bunch of cool parts on it do a four over front end throttle addictions hardtail with the sissy bar probably a bnc um, seat and frisco uh, gas tank we're gonna do the paint and all the work on it so I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of what it looked like before really stoked to be doing this job and uh, I'll keep you guys updated as we keep going along with it Everybody, welcome back to Mazimoto. So as you saw in the intro of this video, we're starting a new Sportster Chopper build. And this one is actually for a customer. So let me uh, flip you guys around here. So our buddy Tim actually saw one of our live Instagram videos and decided to bring his bike to us. And you saw how it was before, completely stock. So he's actually done quite a bit of work to get this bike ready for us to start disassembling and turning into a chopper for him. So he went ahead and took off all the tins, um, took off basically everything that was not necessary, and also brought in all of the parts necessary to make this happen for us. So this bike's gonna get brand new front and rear wheels and tires, new tins. It's gonna get a hardtail, the Halfley Brothers hardtail kit. Um, I'm gonna be making a sissy bar for it, an extended front end, and we're gonna do a pretty psychedelic paint job. So follow along. This is going to be a really fun build for me um, because I've been wanting to do a sports build like this for a while. And as you probably saw, I started on my own, but I just haven't had the time to finish that. So we're going to be doing it to Tim's Sportster and we're going to get this hard tilt and ready to go for him. So today, what I'm basically doing is I'm going to be pulling off the rear wheel and the whole brake setup and everything like that. Uh, tearing apart the motor. Hopefully we can get the motor out today. And then we're gonna be cutting the frame and cutting off this whole back section, fitting up the hardtail and tacking it in place. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so we've got everything from the motor disconnected from the frame, except for these front motor mounts down here. So that's what I'm gonna get next. And then the motor should be able to just pop right out. Um, you gotta undo the rear bolts, those two, those two, the top motor mount, and then the front. So I'm just gonna undo those and then we can pull this motor out. All right, all the motor mounts are off. Now it's just time to pull this motor. And from what I've heard, the motor comes out this way towards us. Um, 
and it's quite a bit difficult in a stock frame. So let's see if we can make this happen. I think I'm gonna raise the lift a little bit. All right, I lied, I missed one of the motor mounts. Don't forget this front motor mount. This is very important to get this one. So let's pull that out. So there's one, two, three, and four mounts that hold this engine in. I forgot one of them. So don't forget that one, it's important. So I lied, the motor comes out on this side. I think when I put it into the, that hardtail frame that one time, I went in on the other side. So there it is. Woo! That was heavy. If you have a friend to help you with that, you should ask for their help. All right, the engine's out. Right over here. Again, the motor does not come out on this side. I thought it did. It comes out on this side. I think that's on a stock frame it comes out on this side. Because I remember on, maybe I'm just mistaken, but I feel like I remember on that hardtail frame that we did last time, sports store hardtail, the motor came out on the right side. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and triple check the measurements from where I need to cut this frame and uh, mark it off with some masking tape and then start cutting the frame. All right. So now that this top clamp is off, what Throttle Addictions recommends for their hardtail kit is to measure from this point right here, the front of the neck cup, the front of the neck, 16 inches back. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that, mark it off, and then put a piece of tape around it. And I'm gonna cut a little bit further from that piece of tape. So basically I have room to bevel the edge and to clean the cut from this bottom piece. They recommend that you cut two and three eighths inches back from this cross member. So two and three eighths inches back. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this back piece. I'm gonna cut it a little bit long so that I can kind of uh, clean up the cut and bevel the edge so that when the hardtail goes on, it'll be nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually clean up all of this oil off of the frame so that when I make my mark, it'll be nice and clean and won't get smudged or anything. So let's go ahead and make those measurements. Measure 16 inches. And then what is it? Two and three eighths inches. time to make these cuts so like i said i made this a little bit long i'm going to cut on the longer side of the cut i marked where my cut was going to be on the back end i marked where my cut was going to be these are actually going to be <clears throat> about a quarter inch longer than they should be um, and that's just to be safe um, so let's go ahead and get to cutting i am going to be cutting this with an angle grinder, you can do this many different ways. Um, I just choose to do it this way because it's what I'm most comfortable with. Um, I might also try and cut one of these cuts, make one of these cuts with the uh, portable bandsaw. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let's get to cutting. It's 
floor. I'm uh, hard tailing a sports here today. Wow, look at you go. That motor out and everything. Yeah, this is gonna be cool, man. This is a roller just an hour ago. 15 minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you wanted the year. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna take a break. Hang out with Blue for a second. <laughs> Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Did you just touch it? Yeah, I put my hand right on it. <laughs> oh, we got a hardtail. We got a sports star hardtail. Half hardtailed. This is what we live for. It's pretty crazy how little left is of the frame when you cut everything off of it to oh hardtail it. God. That's how I feel when, like... Like you do a shovel head hardtail, there's like not much left, you know? Yeah. It's like half the frame cradle and then like the neck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we just gonna clean these cuts up, make them straight, and then we can fit up the hardtail. One more measurement. Make sure. Still a little long, but that's okay. That's why we did it this way. I can't really measure the top, but get an idea. It's like right at 16. Maybe a little long still. But at this point, let's throw the hard tail on. Let's do it. how we bore our cylinders as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You even spin on it. What are you doing? There you go. Spin on it. <laughs> that noise is <laughs> nice. That feels better. Oh, yeah. So check the fitment on that. Fits in there. Check that one. Fits in there. That one fits in there. Take it all off. Put the top in first. comes the hard part. We gotta throw the motor back in to see if we need to cut more.
All right, motor is in for the first time. <laughs> we got to push the rope up the hill, but we did it. <laughs> yeah, um, it was quite the process. First off, the bolts that, uh, the stock bolts were too long. And I don't know if they gave us new ones in the kit, but uh, motor's in. The fit up is actually really nice. Damn. That's as close as it's gonna get, baby. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, decent. huh? Decent. Pretty decent. I don't know about you, but that was pretty decent. Now we just got to TIG weld as much as we can on the top and as much as we can on the bottom. And then uh, pull the motor back out. And then there, fully weld it. The only bad thing, you know what I forgot? I forgot to drill the holes in the frame. Um, you basically drill holes in the frame so that... Oh, you can tack the slug? Yep. Dummy over here. You look good on that thing, Blue. You should, uh, you should have a Sportster chopper. I have one for sale. <laughs> if anybody's ever seen Blue's uh, Sportster chopper, it's that black one with the red flames. It's for sale. It is. Everything must go. Uh, titled. Titled. Current registration. Runs good. Rips. It's pretty fast. Not this bike. Blue's bike. Black, red flames, white light. Yep. The thing's fast. It's so reliable. Super fast, fast. yeah. Taking a work truck. So, what time is it? Five o'clock. I feel like that's enough for today. That's that's part one of this uh, Sportster build. So thank you again for watching, subscribing, liking, um, liking. yes, thank you. <laughs> and also I've noticed that a few of you since the last video have bought some merch. So thank you for that. Um, I've been saying that we're gonna drop some new merch for a while. I've just been lagging because- We're busy. Very busy. But there it is, first part of the uh, Sportster Hardtail project. I'm gonna be working on this all week, so there'll probably be videos for the next month of this uh, bike. So thank you guys again. We'll see you in the next video of Mazimoto. Um, deuces. Deuces. We we'll love you all. <laughs>